however, wants to establish just how exceptional Stig's heart rate control is at the test centre. The requirements for this are two average people to act as controls, heart rate monitors, and small water tanks. Take a really big deep breath. When you're ready, give me a thumbs up. The length of breath hold isn't important. OK, go. It's the heart's reaction when breathing stops that the scientists are monitoring. When the lungs are unable to breathe, the brain panics and adrenaline is released. The heart rate soars, raising oxygen consumption. But Stig appears to override this automatic reaction. That's interesting, the heart rate started almost the, the same for each of them. Mm -hmm. The first control, Emmy, can't fight the body's natural desire to breathe after just 13 seconds. OK. Yeah. For me, that's all about anxiety, actually. Yeah, heart rate really high. The normal heartbeat is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. Emmy's rocketed to 125, a clear indicator of panic. What we do under anxiety is we hyperventilate, we breathe even more. So she's gone under, holding her breath, but her body is saying, breathe more, breathe more. And that's why she's come up so quickly. Mm. James has gotten past the anxiety. Yeah. Let's see how well he does. The second control, James, manages 32 seconds. Oh, Drop. Oh, there, there we go. go. Well done. James lasted longer as his heart rate did not rise due to anxiety. But he was still unable to override the body's inbuilt reflex to breathe. For James, when he's underwater, it's not the low oxygen. It's the high carbon dioxide that makes you breathe. When the carbon dioxide goes up, it sends a signal to the brain, and that drives the breathing reflex. But if you can suppress that and just relax for a bit more, your body can actually hold its breath and, and take that high carbon dioxide level for much longer than your mind might tell you. It seems that Stig has somehow tapped into that and managed mm -hmm. to sort of exploit it. And he seems to be demonstrating Whoa. that. There we go. Wow. Stig. <laughs> the heart rate was actually falling dramatically. It went down to the low 30s. Yeah. But also, look, as soon as he gets out of the water, heart rate goes look right back yeah. up. He needs to recover. Yeah. <laughs> That's a yeah. beautiful response. So are you thinking about lowering your heart rate, or is that just happening when you put your head in the water? It's both. It's a trained response, but also when you kind of have a dialogue with your heart, you can make it beat slower and... Yeah, kind of a different, more subtle way.